Hi, I'm Clive Barker. This is my house in uh, Beverly Hills. And down here is my painting studio, which not an awful lot of people get to see, so come on down with me. Some old paintings up on the walls here. And downstairs, work which is in progress for um, Aberat 2, the sequel to Aberat, which will be coming out uh, next September. Aberat 2, Days of Magic, Nights of War. I have 10 paintings left to finish and uh, a week to finish them in. I had a, uh, I had a, uh, an exhibition organized at a wonderful space called Le Luz de Jesus, The Light of Jesus here in, uh, in LA, and where I had exhibited before erotic work. And I was going to do another exhibition of erotic work. And I, uh, I just started to paint these pictures. I'll show you when we go next door uh, to, the, to, to what I call the gallery house, you know, what those first paintings were. They came without invitation. Um, they were, they just started to appear on the canvas. I know that sounds weird, but it really is how it was. I was painting at night. I was coming down here, starting to paint these pictures. I hadn't worked in oils before, so there was a fumbling quality. I, there is still a fumbling quality about what I do, but there's this, there's, there's, you know, I, there's something about the the process which imme immediately made me feel happy. I was really enjoying making these characters, really enjoying making these worlds. And after I'd done maybe 50, 60 paintings, maybe I. I went to my publishers and I said, um, I think I think I have a, a world here I'd like to write about. I think this I think I could do a book here. Originally it was going to be just one book. Um, I had a, a, a name for that world, Aberat. Don't know where it came from, but I kind of liked it. And I figured I would do one book with a lot of illustrations and it would be cool. And uh, then of course it grew. This is, uh, this is the, 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 the largest of, of the projects I've undertaken, which is, has grown and grown to the point where I'm now just about, you catch me about halfway through, and I've been at it six years now. So I have, I think I'll say to you guys, about 450 paintings. And I finished the second book, and I delivered the second book. And, you know, sometimes when I think uh, I could evaporate into Aberat. My steak knives. I don't eat steaks, so they get turned to uh, to artistic purpose. And if you look closely at the paintings in the first Aberat book, you'll find that they're covered in these scratches. And uh, my jeans, as you can see, are covered in uh, paint. One of the cool things the scratching does is it, it brings through another level, another color from behind the paint that I've just put on so that the canvas kind of has um, a, a kind of extra energy, gains a kind of energy from the, uh, from the scratches. I was, uh, one of my great passions is, is uh, Goya, Spanish painter. And uh, he used to paint uh, sometimes three paintings a day. 
And he would paint with his fingers. He would paint with a palette knife. He, he would paint with brushes sometimes. But uh, really, he kind of taught me uh, that really whatever makes the mark is what's important. It's a very physical business. It's, it's, it's uh, kind of athletic in a weird way, it's particularly canvases like, like this, canvases of this scale. Later on, I'll show you some much bigger canvases. See, I don't know how close you can get on this, but the, the, I'm scratching away this red, and it's just bringing through this lovely blue. This, can you get that? It's kind of fun. And it just gives this whole thing a, uh, a kind of energy which you wouldn't otherwise have. My idea of, I guess my experience, my training, where art is concerned, is, is this. It's a very kind of physical, sweaty, smelly, <laughs> dirty business. I love being in this world, except when the paintings don't work and I have to trash something that pisses me off. But most of the time, it's a very satisfying process. And it's, it's, uh, I'm just getting, getting out of myself. Something very satisfying about skulls. Something nicely simple about skulls. You know, that white circle and that two black circles. Two more little circles. And then wham, 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 bum, 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 bum. And there it is. Wow, what a great sense of design God had, huh? Behind me is the largest of the paintings that I have painted thus far for the, for the, uh, for the quartet, though I plan one much larger picture, which is just in my head right now. Um, this is this is a painting of the archipelago of, of Aberat, and for people who don't know anything about the books, um, really they concern a girl called Candy Quackenbush, who is snatched away from her home in Chicken Town, Minnesota, which she thinks is about the most boring place on earth. This is Candy Quackenbush, who's uh, 